Now the Kirchhoff equation, that's uh, equation 13.10 here, uh, enables us to calculate delta H at temperatures other than the normal uh, 298 kelvins. Let's use worked example 13.9 to show how it's done. As always with a calculation, you need to think through your strategy first. Read through the problem and then note what data you've been provided with. Then you need to write out the thermochemical equation and that's been done for you here. Now we're ready to start putting data into the Kirchhoff equation and we'll do the easy bits first. T1 is 298 kelvins and we're given the value for delta H at 298 kelvins. It's minus 1558.8 kilojoules per mole but we're going to multiply that by 10 to the 3 to turn it into joules per mole uh, so that the units will be consistent with the rest of the calculation. And forgetting to do that is, is a very common mistake. T2 is 373, and delta H at T2 is what we're trying to find. So delta H at 373 is what we're trying to calculate. T2 minus T1 is just 373 minus 298, which comes to 75 kelvins. So now all we've got to do is to work, a, work out delta Cp. And that is made up of the molar heat capacities at constant pressure of the products minus those of the reactants, remembering to multiply each one by its coefficient in the equation. So starting with the products, we've got two CO2s and that is 2 times 37.1 and then the other product is water, we've got three of them, so it's 3 times 75.1. So that's done the products. Now the reactants and we've got one ethane, so that's just 52.5 and we've got 3.5 oxygens And that is 29.4. So that's done the CP values. They're all in the same units, joules per Kelvin per mole. And now you can see why we needed to convert the kilojoules per mole uh, to joules per mole. And that value for CP comes to 144.1 joules per Kelvin per mole. So now we've assembled all the data and all you need to do is to put it into the Kirchhoff equation and provided you get the arithmetic right, we're home and dry. The value for delta H at 373 uh, comes to minus 1548 times 10 to the 3 joules per mole, or you could convert that back to kilojoules per mole. Notice that the difference between the value at 298 and the value at 373 isn't very great uh, because delta H doesn't change all that much with temperature.